Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Last time we got all the junk and crap we didn't need in the Camaro out of it. And today we're gonna find out what all that stuff weighed. I saw a couple comments that said, why don't you weigh it or as you take it out or whatever. So we're gonna make this whole video about weighing the stuff that we pulled out of the Camaro. Uh, kind of, so if you're thinking about doing weight reduction on your car, you kind of got an idea of what each thing weighs. So most of this stuff is stock, but I do have like the big exhaust I had on the car, but you know, factory F-body column. We got the brake booster with the ABS block in there somewhere. All the stock wiring harness, there's like the fuse blocks in there too. The heater core, all that. So there's things on this car that we might be gutting that you won't be, but I'm trying to get as much weight out of this thing. And then of course, we're gonna cut the front end off and do a tube front end and all of that. And then when stuff goes back together, we'll be putting more stuff on it. But uh, let's find out what some of this stuff weighs. So we're gonna start off by weighing the heater box and everything, which when we took it out, we took it out in four pieces. So what we'll do is we'll weigh it, Add it all up on my calculator, and then we'll uh, see where we're at. Start off thinking, are we gonna max out this scale? But this thing's good, I guess, like 440 pounds. It's a shipping scale, so it should be fairly accurate. So Alex is back over here. He's gonna help me measure up some of this stuff. I'm gonna write it all down. We'll probably have a whole bunch of ounces left over, and I'll add those up at the end, but at least we kind of get an idea for each piece, what it all weighs. So, ready to do this thing? Yeah. All right, so first, since we have a heater box that's more or less in, uh, four pieces we're just going to kind of add it all up throw that on there so we got seven pounds one ounce piece number two with some with some things we go that way four pounds right on the money this is the little blower motor Hey, don't, don't we gotta have every ounce counts on this unit. Six pounds, seven ounces. And the last little, this is the uh, little deal that holds the coolant. Oh, getting coolant everywhere. So right at three pounds, 10 ounces. So after some quick mathematical equations, we come up with 21.2 pounds for just the heater box. That's a great start. Let's go ahead and weigh the radio four pounds four ounces for the radio this is like the factory little amp that's back by the wheel well in the rear of the car if you guys have one in yours so two pounds ten ounces perfect so this here is the exhaust i had on the car uh, i know i'm going to a much smaller exhaust but this kind of show you guys if you build a full four inch like stainless exhaust i think this was the four inch vibrant stuff so it's pretty heavy plus it's got a little muffler full street car so let's see kind of what this thing weighed. And I'll be replacing this if we go with twins with probably two little bullhorn twin exhausts, if not a big single exhaust, but hopefully lighter than this Mongo thing. Cause I'm not going back to the firewall, I'll probably just come out the uh, fender or something. So Alex just kind of balancing it. 22 pounds. Oh, yes. Sucks to You're trying not to hold any weight against it, yeah. I'm just trying to <laughs> oh, look at That's you got like a balance. One finger. Twenty-three pounds will take it. All right. <laughs> so prior exhaust, twenty-three pounds. Should right. we measure that? So, Let's check the center console, see what we got there. Sounds like we got some change falling out of it. Yeah. Oh yep. So this thing does have there's still some wiring in it. Yeah. It still does have, oh, well, still got a Sonic uh, little mint, but it's also got that leash bump box deal, which I need to pull out. We're not pulling out right now, so we'll see what it weighs to roll with that in there. Halfway stick that there together. We go. See if we can balance it on this. Is it all the way on? Oh, yep, perfect. So, verdict says, wow, that's pretty crazy because that thing doesn't feel like anything. No. Well, just that center console's eight pounds, two ounces. So it's pretty wild. I guess over right here, get the knock the cow out of the way. The plastic section of the cow. Yeah. So the cow. This is where the cow. This is the cow that goes over like the windshield wipers and all that crap. Yeah. Even that. Three pounds. We haven't even started cutting the. As you guys can see, we'll end up cutting all of that out of here. All the metal right there. Oh, there we go. All that will be getting cut out of the car, so that'll drop a bunch of weight, but still another three pounds there. T-top plastics. 
T-top plastics, these are those little buckets that mount your T-tops in the car out of the back of it. Maybe be able to put them both in there. Let's see. And even those are two pounds, nine ounces. Controls, or AC controls. So here's just the little heater control panel. Not much there, but eh, 12 ounces. We'll take it where we can get it. You guys can't be judging my jacked up handwriting. Here's the hood hinges. Don't even doubt where we're going. Let's see if I can set them to where they're not gonna fold. While he's putting the hood hinges on there, I actually put a fiberglass bolt-on hood on this car. And prior to that, it had the factory steel hood, so there's, there's a ton of weight there. And now we'll be going to an even lighter Zeus hood uh, that extends out to the windshield. So we'll be dropping, I think they said that whole hood, the new hood is 17 pounds. I'm not sure what a factory hood weighs, but the whole new hood's like 17 pounds without paint. And then yeah, we're we keeping can... this. Uh, no. No? You're just so. gonna wire in your own headlights? Yeah, I'll have headlights wired separate. Okay. So that ain't much, but so those are six pounds, 10 ounces for the hood hinges. And the light switch is a whopping six ounces, woo wee. So now we got the windshield wipers, the brackets that tie the two together, windshield wiper motor, and more brackets to hold it all together. So uh, let's see what all this weighs now. Okay, it's the heaviest component on it. Yeah, we probably, yeah, if you guys just want to kind of know, we'll add it up and then we'll just keep stacking, but five pounds for that motor, add a couple brackets, so at 6.9 pounds. And then for the wipers. That's gone. Because it's going to be a little more streetcar ish. Uh oh. Maybe. maybe. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Let's balance it all out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yep. crap. Hold on. Oh, yeah. We don't it's want It's holding itself up right there. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. There we go. So all that stuff totals 10 pounds and 11 ounces. That's pretty crazy. That's, that's a good amount of weight savings right there. Yeah, so, see, When you start left. thinking what it costs you on the other side to pull weight out by buying carbon fiber or like aluminum center sections or any of that type of stuff, this is where it all adds up, I guess, for free. Yeah, so this will be interesting. I, I mean, we can fold that over or we can yeah. kind of weigh one while the other hang, well, either way, I guess. Screw it, just bend it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> see if I can get enough pin. Must fit on scale. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I mean, that's... So that looks like 19 pounds and 8 ounces for the ABS module and then the master cylinder and power brakes and all that stuff. So the car will be getting manual brakes, so we will be adding some of this back. So that's not fully weight lost, but that's definitely a good chunk and we'll be losing most of that by going to manual brakes. I'm thinking we'll probably be keeping what four and a half to five pounds with just the manual brakes. Yeah, I mean, if you think about manual brakes, is probably yeah with all the fluid and stuff. Maybe uh, even if that even if that's eight-ish pounds, so you're still gonna save eleven, which yeah. is a lot. I mean, this thing weighs a ton. Yeah. And this weighs quite a bit. So yeah, you're just talking more or less that part of it. So what we'll be keeping from here out. So okay. not not bad do this should we try to chunk something in a box and it's kind of one of the things i was thinking is we could put a box on there zero it drop it all in a box and then weigh it but we need to we need a good box to do so that white box right there i think we might well no that'd be too small we might brown be box what's in that we we'll probably use that right there so we got us a box we'll toss that on there jeez i say that box is two pounds so now I think I can tear that so that removes the box and now we can stuff a bunch in there and see what we come up with. This is the underhood harness with the fuse block. Uh, the fuse block carries quite a bit of weight. And now just that alone. 11 pounds for just the underhood harness and I have a little bit cut off because I removed from where it plugs into the ECU and comes over to here is where I cut it so it's mostly from there to where it plugs into like the 
firewall, I guess, at the firewall connector. So 11 pounds. Got the harness unhooked from the column. Now we can start adding up. This, this stuff is heavy. This is all the stuff that was up under the dash, across it. There's actually still one more that runs across there, but it's kind of like what ties the doors together and stuff. So I might save some of that wiring uh, just so I know what it is. But so there might be a few ounces that are still in the car that we haven't pulled out yet. See at least what the 90% uh, of it weighs. Yeah, that's, that's good times. <laughs> Hold on. Don't forget that one. Every little piece counts, I guess. Look at that, a whole box of harnesses. All right, so dun, dun, dun. 16 pounds for the factory harness. Uh, and that's just this one, that wasn't the other harness that we just weighed as well. So 16 pounds on that one. The other harness was 11 pounds, um, one ounce, or 11 pounds rather than money. So 16 pounds, one ounce. So we got 27 pounds, two ounces for just the factory harness. That's huge, like 16 pounds. I'm not sure what the smart wire that I have coming, like what that whole kit weighs, but that's also, you can just take into consideration if you have like a factory vehicle, the factory ECU probably is what the smart wire weighs. And then if you add a Holly or whatever, like this is none of the Holly harness or any of that stuff, because uh, we will be putting more of that, like the standalone ECU harness, all that stuff does have to go back in the car. So that is at least what we're working with to get rid of and then we'll find out kind of what it ends up weighing when we're done putting the car back together with hopefully a bunch of lighter stuff now let's find out what the factory column is kind of on its own with the airbag still in it so you want to look at that there alex so that let's see where we're at 24 pounds 13 ounces all right so quite a bit on that 24 pounds 13 ounces almost 25 pounds for just the factory steering column. And then just one little fender liner. There might not be much there, but hey, it all adds up. Shoot, more than you think. 2.9 pounds. So if you pulled all the fender line, pulled both fender liners out of the car, you'd say five pounds approximately, if you pulled yeah. those out. This form trunk section of carpet's pretty light compared to like the, uh, this rubber back stuff and I I like having carpet in the car but that stuff is so dang heavy it's hard to like justify keeping it in there that should balance itself and probably only say five ounces six ounces almost nailed it <laughs> so let's see this thing oh, here is a here. little Try bit deformed so we're gonna have to semi reform it to See if we can get it to balance itself. This may or may not be the most precise measurements here, but I bet we're I bet we're pretty close. I think you're close there, as long as you don't fold that out. There we go. That's close to kind of what we saw earlier. So yeah. 2.7 pounds for the little trunk carpet. And now we got carpet in a box. I did the subtract thing, so it's minus two pounds, 12 ounces. So now maybe shoot. There we go. I'm telling you guys, that carpet is heavy. Probably 12, 15 pounds. Try way more. 26 pounds, one ounce for carpet. Because that, that's pretty crazy, dude. Like that's That don't feel one pound heavier than the column. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's like taking a whole nother steering column out of the car. So I think that's one of our biggest, That that is our single biggest weight reduction out of everything in the car because the heater stuff was 21 pounds two ounces and then yeah the column was all right to, yep the column was 24 pounds 13 ounces and then the carpet alone is 26 pounds so who would have thought that the carpet would be would be that much that's wild and that's only the cabin that's not the trunk right yeah and then yeah you add up the the trunk uh which is another 2.7 pounds so you're talking right around 30 pounds to pull all the carpet out of an F body. And guys, that is not everything because I even pulled a lot of this like matting, uh, whatever you want to call this crap off the bottom of it. I peeled all that off. So that was like a whole nother layer of insulation that I pulled off the car before when I did the roll cage. So who knows, it'd probably been over 30 pounds just on its own if it had all that like, I guess insulated like fuzzy crap on the bottom of it. There are a few other things I'm not really going to count. That's the factory dash because it might go in, but we'll probably thin it out in case there's a class where it says, you know, must retain factory dash. And then also there's a few things over here on the shelf, like the uh, methanol tank that I, like the methanol kit that I used to run, 
and stuff like that that won't be going back in the car. But like I said, most of that stuff, if I'm getting rid of it, it'll probably be getting replaced by something else. Just like, you know, these two front bumpers, those will be going away, but it'll be getting replaced by the other two front ends. So let's go ahead and add all this stuff up. We ended up with 105 ounces from all the leftover ounces from everything. Divided by 16 ounces a pound, we ended up with what? Six pounds, point We've five, six ounces. 16 and a half pounds. Just round it. Plus two, plus 26. And that is 158 pounds. Wow. Plus the six pounds. Yeah, plus 6.5. So, plus 6.5. 164.5 164 pounds 164.5 pounds is what we pulled out of the inside of the car on stuff that just factory stuff that we're getting rid of so that's pretty crazy so 164 pounds and, and then I believe the front tube kit we're gonna save right around 50 pounds and then we're gonna do other things like changing out the stock fuel tank for a fuel cell and a whole bunch of other stuff to pull away down this thing. So that's a great start if you take that. So what is 3,590, which is what the car weighed when I raced it prior, minus 164. 3,426. So 3,426 pounds is where we're kind of headed. So see you guys, and then I'm like, oh, hopefully I can get to 3,300 with me in it. So it's gonna be a struggle. But, uh, so 340 what? 3,400? 3,426. 3,426 is what it would weigh with me in it. If we could just pull all that stuff out and everything else we put back in, uh, equals to like what the front end is and stuff like that. So. I gotta find some more places to get some weight out of this thing because that is not gonna be enough, I don't think, to get me to where I want goal-wise. But I got a lot more things that are coming that should help uh, with weight on this car as well. So that'll kind of come in as we get it, but this gives you a heck of an idea as to what it is to pull some of the things out of the car. I think that's a lot of the popular stuff, which a lot of those things, if you pull it out, usually something goes back in to replace it, but at least you get that base idea of how much some of that stuff weighs. So. I think that will be it for this video. I just want to show you guys kind of what everything weighed, go over all that. So Alex and I are going to get started on cutting a bunch of stuff on this car and clean up a bunch of things, and that'll be in the next video. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.